What's going on guys, Shots here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Smuggler's Run update that Rockstar announced a couple of hours ago. So you guys, if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you guys do drop a like as it really supports my channel. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe as we are about 30 or 20 subscribers away from one... No, from actually 2,000 subscribers. So yeah, that's absolutely freaking crazy. Just want to say so much thank you for the support, you know. I appreciate it so much. But yeah. We're going to do a trailer breakdown in the 59 seconds of this trailer. Now, this video is not going to be too long. It's just going to be me breaking it down and stuff. And, of course, from what I've heard is that where Rockstar actually confirmed that the update is going to have the Halloween content along with the December content. So, that pretty much means that there's going to be a ton of drip feed things. So, of course, when the update is out, I will have the videos ready for you guys to see every single unreleased vehicle or every single thing that came with this update. So, yeah, stay tuned for that next week. But let's go ahead and get into this trailer breakdown. Alright, so as you guys can see, it's starting off right there. So right here, you can see a couple of things. A ton of new airplanes. And that helicopter is so cool, actually, because it's so small. But uh, So you can see the Titan. You see the gold luxor that's a waste of money and you should never buy. You, you see all these other things. But the one thing I noticed is that it's like a customized hangar, you know. The floor is custom, like red and white. That's really cool. All the airplanes are really cool as well, and it's like, it just looks really cool so far. I'm not exactly sure where this location is. I could think of two spots. One of the open hangars or close hangars in LSIA or in Fort San Kudo. So we'll see how that is. If it is Fort San Kudo, that's going to be kind of cool since we're actually going to be able to have a use for it now. But we'll see what's up. Alright, so as you guys can see, you can see that. You can see Ron, of course. And then Rockstar Games Presents. Now, right here. This freaking got me hyped as hell. First of all, these airplanes look new. I'm not exactly sure what they are. But this looks like a brand new cargo plane. And if it's a cargo plane that we can own, I'm going to be so freaking hyped. Because honestly, I've wanted the cargo plane on GT Online for so long. On it, like, I've been trying to... Of course, I've used mods to get it on GT Online and stuff to mess around with friends. But having one that we can actually own would be really cool. So I really hope we're actually able to own this thing. So coming up next on this thing, of course, it's Ron again. And then right here, you can see a few things. It's like a whole air battle going on. You know, you can see airplanes going down like that. You can see this airplane looks like an old style military airplane, which is kind of cool. And I'm not sure if those are missiles or turrets, but either way, that's really cool. And then once again, you start off right here. You see those brand new airplanes right there with different. So you can see those types of different libraries right here. Or actually, what? it was the same airplane, so that's fine. Right here is another small airplane that looks like it fits about two people and maybe some cargo in the back has a library right here looks really cool in my opinion and then right here this got me so excited like I watched it at school I must cut out that part where I cursed because YouTube has been demonetizing my videos like crazy lately so yeah pretend I never cursed I'll cut that out but yeah this has gotten me so excited I saw this thing at school like the trailer and when I saw this I freaked out you know because this is pretty much the hunter I believe I hope so so yeah, if this is a hunter from GTA San Andreas, that's going to be so freaking sick because this is something I've wanted for the longest time. And I might just be like really dumb and think it's a hunter and it's not, but I really hope it is. But yeah, you can see it has like crazy amount of missiles right here, missiles right here. And then I believe it's a turret there or I might just be looking or seeing things, but we'll see what it is. But yeah, you can see another screenshot of it here or another clip of it. So yeah, shooting a missile right there. It looks like those are missiles, turret right here. And it just looks really cool, so I'm really excited for that. Of course, this is a part of gun running, so you're going to be stealing a ton of like things like this. So You're going to be stealing diamonds, watches, whatever the hell you're stealing, I don't know, of course, because the update's not out. So yeah, it's kind of like the import-export or the finance and felony that you guys steal things, deliver things. And actually, this part right here is actually really cool, because I guess they're finally bringing the Skylift to GTA Online, which is really freaking awesome, because... This thing has been in the game but has never really been used, I don't think. So, I don't think we used it in story mode. If we did, let me know in the comment section. But from what I remember, I don't think we did use it. So, yeah, it's kind of cool that they're actually adding it to GTA Online, even if it's just for missions. Also, this tiny helicopter right here. And I probably uh, cut out a little thing of me, like, cursing again because, you know, YouTube hates me. But, uh, yeah, these tiny helicopters are so cool in my opinion because it's just like a one-seater thing probably going to be really fast as well as you guys can see it went really fast once again these are the old style things that i said the airplanes that i'm not sure if these are just bombs or what but they look to be like miniguns or something i'm not too sure though whoa that looks cool okay hold on 
Okay, so this looks like a chrome freaking airplane in the bottom and then just like a old style airplane in the top. So that's kind of cool as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this and because so far it's really cool. This airplane is actually sick in my opinion because you can see it's the pilot along with some passengers maybe or just one passenger and uh, cargo in the back. And then there's a freaking gunner up here. Like that's so sick in my opinion, you know. Have like, this update's going to make it pretty much so we can have some sick wars on in the air pretty much you know and not just have like flying and then some kid in the homing launcher kills you you know even though there's still gonna be people like that because they're freaking mean i'm gonna say mean because i can't use the bad words but uh yeah and they're freaking mean so you know they'll blow us up but now we can actually do things like this so that's really cool we can just do attacks and this looks like that a type of heist but i don't think it's a heist obviously because we're not getting heists again i doubt it but yeah, this looks like a really cool mission, and I'm not sure if that was a new gun or an old one. Let me check again. Okay, no, never mind. This looks like a carbon rifle with like a silencer. The it just looks like the carbon rifle Mark II actually. So these are actually really cool. I think I don't know what they're, they're called in real life. I forgot. They're like gliders or whatever. But those are really cool that we're gonna be able to actually have. And there's a jet up there and a buzzard right there. So yeah, that's really cool. And then right here you can see a new jet, which looks awesome as well. Ambulance helicopter, and I'm not sure what this gun is, but I'm pretty sure it's actually a new gun, so that's really cool. No, never mind, it's a heavy sniper. Also this scene, we get a black cargo bob, and you get like a whole new helmet with night vision, and then of course parachute and armor. But yeah, that looks really cool in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about these things in the comment section below. And here's like another type of night vision mission or something, so that's really cool. And I know I'm saying really cool a lot in this video, so don't start commenting, oh, you keep saying that because I know. But uh, here we see more old style types of airplanes, which I believe drop bombs. Yeah, that's freaking sick. And I really hope this is not just for like missions and things like that, because that would really suck, you know? I really hope it's like in public lobbies, I can just go and bomb some people, you know? That'd be freaking sick. Watch me get demonetized for saying I want to bomb people. Okay, so... Here are more airplanes. These are actually really cool because they look like they have no front or something. Or they have a front, but like, you know what I mean? It has a grill or something. I don't know. And they just look really cool, as you guys can see right there. And then, of course, Smugglers Run August 29, which is five days from now. Now, I actually want to cover something else as well because I noticed Rockstar actually put this. And let me go to their thing. Okay. God, that's not it. Hold on. Okay, so here in their Newswire article, they actually talked about everything, of course. Let me mute that. Okay, there we go. And also, something that's really cool, not that. Something that's really cool is that if you zoom in all the way back there, you can see the tiniest little airplane. And that's so freaking cool that we're going to be able to own things like that tiny airplane, that tiny helicopter. You know, it's so cool that it's not just going to be huge aircrafts, even though huge aircrafts are cool as well. And you can see more types of aircrafts like that glider I looked at a while back, that blue airplane that looks really freaking nice. I believe. It looks like one of those airplanes that was in San Andreas a while back, but I'm not too sure. And then, of course, the military type of old-style airplane, which I really like. So yeah, these are all the screenshots, dropping bombs and things like that. And it says, coming this fall, transform races seamlessly takes you across roads, skies and seas. Stunt racing in GT Online had you flipping and carving your way around enormous corkscrews and loops and other tracks. While special vehicle circuit races harness the power and unique characteristics of the Rocket Voltic, Ruiner 2000, and the Blazer Aqua for adrenaline pumping up challenges. Now, Racing GT Online will once again be transformed with inter intricate circuits that demand mastery across air, sea, and land vehicles. New and strate strategically placed checkpoints will instantly change your vehicle's class to match the portion of the course ahead, creating dynamic racing with ever shif shifting challenges to take the checkered flag. So, pretty much, you can see right here, let me zoom in. So, you can see back there, this dude is in a Blazer Aqua, and the second they hit that, they turn into this car, so that's gonna be really cool and like for new races and things like that. And I believe this car's already out. Yeah, it's already the LG Classic or whatever, but uh you're gonna be able to change vehicles in races, which is actually really cool as well. So yeah, that's super cool. And of course the last thing I noticed that is really important is that it says plus new modes, vehicles and holiday celebrations and more. Now you're thinking there's no holidays in there's no holidays in August and no holidays in October. I mean September. So it says, enjoy a fleet of new aircraft along with a suite of customizations options for these aerial additions. So that pretty much confirms like a maybe LS Customs type, but like for airplanes or something. So that's going to be sick. And then it says there will also be different form. There will also be in. 
There will also be a few new four-wheeled vehicles as well, plus new competitive adversary modes, and of course, timely holiday celebrations including funny stuff for Halloween, the December holidays, and more. So that pretty much tells you that this update is actually going to contain things for... So that pretty much tells you that this is going to have things for obviously next week, and then it's going to have a ton of drip feed content for when it comes to like Halloween, December, and things like that. So uh, after this update comes out, I say you guys don't expect another update for another two to three months. If that, maybe there's more months, you know, but like don't expect an update anytime soon after this update comes out. This is going to have the holiday content as well, which of course I will be talking about it and showing you guys every single vehicle and every single thing that I can actually access from this update the second the update's out. Like always, the unreleased vehicles and things like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Gonna, that's, so yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for my video regarding the breakdown on the trailer and just talking about the update in general. Me personally, I'm freaking hyped for this update just because of the fact that I've always wanted more air vehicles and things like that. And they're finally adding a ton, especially that cargo plane. That looks so sick. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this update in the comment section below. Are you guys excited for it or do you guys not really care about it? You know, because it's gun running part two technically. Not literally, but like, you know what I mean? It's like the same concept. So yeah, I see a lot of people that don't like that. But of course, there's a ton of new vehicles. They're going to freaking ruin your bank account on GTA Online. And they might even ban me because they've been banning me left and right. So I might lose all my money and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can buy everything. If not, I'll just show you guys everything in story mode, of course. But yeah, it's going to be pretty much it for the video. If you guys enjoyed this breakdown and talking about the update and things like that, let me know in the comment section below and make sure you guys leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe as I am so close to 2,000 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you so much for all the support lately. It literally took me a year to get to 1,000 subscribers. And I hit ju on July 7th, I hit 1,000. And a month later, almost two months, I'm almost at 2,000. So yeah, huge thank you for the support. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.